Hey everyone, and welcome to Wicode, where in this video, we're going to learn what JavaScript prototypes, classes, and constructor functions are, and we're also going to compare the three. We'll also go over a few methods, such as object.create and object.getPrototypeOf. So before we start, what is a JavaScript prototype? Well, in JavaScript, objects have properties and also a prototype. And a prototype is another object that provides fallback properties. For example, let's create an empty object and use one of these fallback properties. So we can see the output over here. And in this instance, our JavaScript object called empty object has no properties. However, we can call the method to string on it. And this is because when a property that doesn't exist is accessed on an object, its prototype will be searched for the property. We can check what the prototype of an object is by using the method object.getPrototypeOf. And we can see the output over here. And so this getPrototypeOf method returns the prototype of the provided object, the provided object being empty object. And so we did not explicitly define the prototype of this empty object here, but the object prototype was still listed as it is the entity behind almost all objects in JavaScript. We can actually get the name of the object prototype by calling the constructor.name property of it. we can see the word object printed out. And now we can explicitly set the prototype of an object by using the object.create method. So this object.create method here takes an object as an argument to be used as the prototype. So we're using the parent object as the prototype for this child object. And as the parent object is empty, so this here is empty, what is printed when we print the child prototype is an empty object, which we can see right here. However, if we give it a property, this property will be printed. So we can see this is an inherited property printed out here. And so something to note is that prototypes involve inheritance. And therefore, if the object's prototype doesn't have the property, then the prototype's prototype is checked for the property, and then the prototype's prototype's prototype, and so on. And this is why we can still call to string on the child object, because it inherits from the parent object, which inherits from the object prototype. And now real quick, if we call a property that isn't present on an object or any of its prototypes, then we get a type error. So we can see say hi is not a function right here. And for variable properties, we get undefined. So we see undefined here. And now a few other common prototypes besides the object prototype are function prototype and the array prototype. The function prototype provides default properties to functions and the array prototype provides default properties to arrays. So here we can see the array when we print the constructor, we get array, and over here we get function. Function here. And now let's mimic some class type syntax by using JavaScript prototypes. So before classes were implemented in JavaScript, the prototype keyword and methods were used. For example, we can create a class using a function, a prototype, and the object.create method.
So here we have essentially mimic, essentially mimic using a class. So here we attach the slice property to this pizza prototype. And this is because we want all pizza objects to have this slice property. And it is common to add properties to the prototype where all instances of it will have the same value. And this is often methods. And we can see this here by when we create a cheese pizza and a pepperoni pizza, we want them both to have this slice method. So we add it to the prototype. And we also make this the prototype of any object created through this function or this function by using object.create. So now the prototype of this pizza object will be this, so it inherits the slice method. However, we want each pizza to have its own individual type. We don't put that on the prototype. Instead, we set that in this function and then return the pizza object. And so we can see this is a little messy. And so next, JavaScript introduced constructor functions to make object creation easier. And a constructor function is a function that creates and initializes an object. And by convention, constructor functions start with a capital letter. And now constructor functions are invoked by using the new keyword. And the new keyword is what treats this function here as a constructor. In other words, the new keyword creates an object, assigns its prototype, binds this to it, and then returns it. So we can see when we create this new pizza object here, we then print its type, which is cheese, which we pass into the constructor function, and it is assigned to this, where this is the object created with a new keyword. And now, if we want to add a method to this pizza function, we use its prototype. Because remember, prototypes are great for defining properties that are shared among all instances of a class. And we want all our pizzas to have the slice method. And now we can call this method on any of our pizza objects. So we can see the cheese pizza has been sliced here. And if we create another object, we can use the same method. So this is also being printed here. And we can also see the prototype of this, these pizza objects by using the object.getPrototype of method. And so there's the prototype listed here. And present in the prototype of the pizza object is the slice method and also the constructor function. And we can also see the object prototype listed here, meaning we can call toString, et cetera, on this pizza object. But so from this code, we can see that the JavaScript prototype system is a different take on classes. All a class is, is a blueprint for an object, the methods and properties that it will have. And now finally, let's talk about JavaScript classes. So it wasn't until 2015 with ES6 that the class keyword was introduced to JavaScript. And the class keyword allows us to define a constructor and methods in one place as opposed to writing a constructor function and adding properties to the prototype like we were doing up here. And once again, we can see we call this method, the cheese pizza is being sliced. So here, instead of using a constructor function, like this one right here, we use this constructor keyword instead, which does the same thing. It is the constructor keyword that mimics the constructor function. The other, the other methods, such as slice right here, mimic attaching the method to the prototype, which is what we did here. So 
At the end of the day, JavaScript classes are just, are just constructor functions with a prototype property. The introduction of the ES6 class keyword just allows for a cleaner way to define classes in JavaScript. But so that was it for this video. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one.